Okay, this is my simple circuit including uh, RGB LED and a soft potentiometer. Um, before I show you what it all exactly does, I'll explain how I set it up. Uh, the green jumper here from, that leads from one of the pins on the potentiometer leads to the 5 volt pin on my Arduino. Uh, the white jumper leads to from one of the pins on the potentiometer leads to uh, a white cable here that I have hooked up to one of the analog in or probe ports. Uh, after that it leads to a resistor which in turn I think this is sorry a uh, 5, 5k ohm resistor and then it leads to a gray jumper to the negative thermal. Um, of course when I was setting this up I had to first of all find the range of resistance in the soft pot so I had to on my Arduino software uh, find you know its maximum minimum uh, values and then accordingly set the LED to turn on with specific values. Um, speaking of the LED it's quite simply set up. The negative terminal is hooked up to the ground as well, uh, the same ground as the potentiometer. However, the positive terminals, the red one, as you can see, the red jumper, the green one, the green jumper, and the blue one, the purple jumper, are each each have their own um, pin that's connected to a Arduino board, and of course their own resistor. They each need their own um, positive lead, but there is only one negative lead on the actual LED. Uh, the first pin, the shortest of them all, will be the red. The longest of them all will be the ground, followed by the green. And the last one will be the blue. Um, okay, I'll show you how this works. So, if I press on the bottom, uh, the least resistance, I'll get um, a blue color. Anyway, I'm hooked that up. My, that may be the most resistance. Anyway, at the bottom, blue. Next is green, and then red. And if I just touch the top here, it'll cycle through all of them. Um, yeah, again, blue, green, red, and cycle. Um, of course, this could work with any number of analog sensors. You know potentiometer, flex sensor, uh, even a button, or uh, I think I have a yeah, photo cell in here. That'll all work, you just need to map different values. Um, yeah, pretty simple circuit, and along with the video I'll post the code. But uh, I hope you like this circuit.